Hello, this is another installment of the Soviet Anti-Race Series. Today we will look at the policies of the USSR, mainly in the 1920s. Some of these have already been discussed here, and I will provide links in the description, reading from the June 2002 New Yorker. Quote, In recent popular imagination, the Soviet Union was always synonymous with Russia, but in the USSR's early days, Soviet leaders had a very different idea in mind. They wanted to establish a true multinational, multi-ethnic empire, and to that end, they attacked great Russian chauvinism as a vestige of czarism, end quote. This meant minority or oppressed nations used their own languages, such as in their own republics, but this policy ended up causing problems. Since many minorities would not stop at extreme nationalism and even attacking other peoples and minorities in their own lands, later on, even working with the Nazis. Continuing on with LGBT rights, after the Ruf- Russian Revolution in 1917, the communists legalized all homosexual and transgender activity. It was the first organized state to do so. However, when Stalin came to power, this ended. Okay, thank you.